Hey, there you are. I haven't seen you all day. You were gone before I woke up this morning. Yeah, I figured you had to go in early. Is everything all right at work? They let another one go? What are they trying to do? Get down to a skeleton crew? I'm sorry, babe. I know it can be frustrating when you feel like your bosses are shortchanging you and leaving you high and dry. Yeah, and even before this, you called on to do so much overtime. It has to be making the job you love so much of a chore. It's because you're such a good hard worker. They know they can rely on you. <laughs> Have you ever considered not giving your all? Maybe if you came off as lazy and doing just enough to keep you from getting fired, your life would get easier. I know, babe. I was just teasing you. Phew, you are tired tonight, eh? Or maybe my joke just didn't land. Well, maybe after our delicious pre-prepared pre-workout food, you'll feel better. Not tonight, babe. I know it's been a long, tough day for you, but I was really looking forward to our workout tonight. But we've worked so hard to get into this routine, and we both agreed that we wanted to live a healthier lifestyle, right? I know. I'm tired too. In fact, I've been tired enough to want to skip our workouts most nights. But I've been able to push through and live up to this commitment because I've had you by my side. We're a team, remember? Yes. And we've slowly and almost successfully transitioned from the pig out on junk food team to the habitable healthy eaters who only splurge on special occasions team. Yes, it's going to be hard to put on that jersey, but we can work that out later. We have to work ourselves out first. <laughs> I know veggies are healthy, but I don't think vegging on the couch counts. I know I wasn't originally the biggest advocate for this routine, but you were right there encouraging me. Now it's my turn. We made a pact. We're in this together. It's not just about our body shape. It's about feeling better. And of course, being able to outrun everyone during the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, come on. You know one has to be coming. We can't go a day without seeing some sort of disaster. So it's only a matter of time before we're basically living in zombie land. I want us to be that power couple that can fight through any number of obstacles. I know, right? Totally underrated. Hey, nice try, but we're not going to change the subject. We've been doing so great these last few weeks, and it's mostly been because of you. Whenever I wanted to skip a workout, you've been right there with your enthusiasm, keeping me motivated. Our commitment to doing this together has pulled me through the tough days when all I can think about was having ice cream for dinner. No. I want to do this, for myself and for you. You're not just my partner, you're my best friend. And now, as your best friend, I am not going to let you give up on your goals so easily. Because you've been there through all my peaks and valleys. And you never let me give up. Even when I was upset with you and grumbled about it the whole time. You kept me focused on our goals. And I never really told you how much I appreciated and relied on you for that. Well, I did. You were there when I needed you to be my cheerleader and coach. Now I'm going to be that for you. I believe in you. I know that even though you're exhausted from work, you really do want to work out. Your body is just trying its best to talk your mind out of it. I know I'm right because this all came from you. You're the one that showed me all the research and proof that exercising, even when you feel tired, will make you feel better. It releases all those endorphins and helps relieve stress too. So it's not just to make us healthier, 
but also to help us feel better in our everyday lives. Right. And if we skip just one day, then it's easy to justify skipping more. Didn't you tell me that it takes doing something about an average of what, 70 times to create a habit? Yes. And your research also said that our minds and bodies are built to take tasks and make them habitable. But we have to create the habits and stick to them first. I know, I'm interrupting your exhausted rambling with my logic. But it's really your logic. So you only have yourself to blame for how smart I sound. Tell you what, why don't we just do a short workout today? We don't have to put in our regular effort, but if we just do half of it, then we're still doing better than not doing anything at all, right? Right. And who knows? Maybe we'll get halfway through and you'll change your mind, like I've done. Remember? I was tired and I agreed to work out, but I only told you I wanted to do like 10 minutes. But after 20, we were still going. And you said... Why not just finish the full 30 minutes? We're already this far in. Okay, maybe you were more eloquent than that. But my point is I felt so much better after that workout. And you were the reason for it. I knew you'd come around. Mwah. So let's get our pre-workout snack. Then we'll warm up and let's set our goal to, let's say, a 15-minute workout. If... After that, you feel like you don't want to continue. Then we can do our cool down and that will be that. We can shower and we'll relax and become super healthy couch veggies together. <laughs>